If you've seen my channel, then you probably know I'm a fan of Jujutsu Kaisen. But, I'm also a fan of Rec Room. And, in this video, I technically learned circuits in order to create a Jujutsu Kaisen PvP map. Now, at the time of this video's release, the room is already out and playable. Now, there are some bugs, but it, it's the best I can do. If there are bugs, leave me comments in the video or in the room. Uh, please check it out. I spent a lot of time on that. Uh, thanks, and I'll get into how I made it. I started by designing the arena and the battlefield where you'll, where you'll be fighting. Now, I wanted to keep the arena under 50 ink so that I could have room for powers and all the other characters because I estimated they would take 50 ink. Once I was done with that, I got onto modeling the Gojo. Now, I used a reference model from Not Stewie. I don't know how to spell it, I'll put his at on the screen to model Gojo because I suck at modeling. Gojo's ability was originally going to be him shooting laser beams out of his hands and like using hollow blue and stuff, but I just couldn't get that to work so I ended up using a different method with the laser beam cannons. I don't actually have it on video currently, but I'll show it at the end of the video when I'm showcasing all the abilities. Once I had Gojo to a point where I liked it, I worked on 3D modeling the inverted spear of heaven. Now I suck at modeling. So, it didn't turn out the best, but it turned out as good as I could get it, because I didn't want to spend too long on this. So, it is what it is. Now, midway through working on the Inverted Sphere of Heaven, I had a really good idea to create a seal system, where you could select a player and seal them in a box for like two minutes, to avoid overpowered u or OP usage, or like hogging stuff. But, oh, I'm not But it ended up being way more difficult than I thought it was going to be and ended up taking basically the entire time working on this room, just going back and forth and fix fixing it and making sure it wasn't bugged. I don't even know it's working right now. I, I'd have to test it at a larger scale, but I just can't do that right now. But then I get into the fun part where I finally get to code in punching to the game, get thanks to a tutorial I watched, I'll put the tutorial on the screen. Currently, I can't remember it, sadly. I would totally put it on the screen if I could remember it, but I just can't. The next ability I wanted to make was Totos, because he it was one of my favorite abilities in the show. His boogie woogie was just really cool. So I coded it after a couple hours. And that was ridiculous. I probably did it all wrong, but I got it to work. And from the testing I did it with an alt account, it worked fine. So punching or whatever, and then you teleporting it, it swaps places. I don't know why it takes so long to do this. But yeah, it, it swaps our places. From what I can test, it works fine. And there's a cooldown and everything, so I'm not complaining. I finished Nobara after a couple hours, but I totally forgot to record any footage for that. So at the end of the video, I'll give you guys a demonstration of Nobara as well, with all the other powers and everything. Okay, I'm just now going back and looking at the video and realizing I totally forgot to mention Yuji at all. He is in the game. I recorded literally nothing for him. I'm gonna add his segment at the end still. But he was, cause all he does is punch. He gets an extra punch ability at the end, that, that's it. So I didn't do anything about him. After that, I finished the Jujutsu Sorcerer section. All the cursed tools are done. All the Jujutsu Sorcerers are done. And I even have two free costumes for Maki and Inumaki. To clarify, you'll earn the powers of the character once you equip the costume. Just so that that's in there, and that makes more sense. By this point in the game, I had lost a lot of my motivation. It was a lot. The, I still had three curses to create. I wanted to create Hanami, Choso, and Jogo. But it was just going to be a lot. So I was losing my mind at this stage in the game. It, it got a lot. It became a lot. I didn't even know if this game was going to do well. I don't even know if this game is going to do well at recording. So it would be a lot if you guys could play it. And maybe donate. It helps so much. On a much less depressing note, Hanami was finished. The vine mechanic worked. Where if you press a little thing that's near your chest area. It's like a trigger volume or whatever. When, if you press it, it'll summon a vine next to the closest player if they're close enough. That was not as difficult, which I'm glad because I probably would have stopped playing, making the game if it 
was too difficult. But yeah, not bad. Everything worked. It's just the cursed tools I need to get fixed because those were not working. This is where I run into the biggest problem of the entire room. I was using an, a, what I call a sequencer with just a bunch of delay chips or whatever to send multiple update 30 hertz. It's basically like a forever loop of like an if. It's like making something run again and again and again. But it was just ending, it was just lagging out the room like crazy. And it also made it so that any other delay chips would not work. So I can show you right here what I was doing. That that was lagging my room out so much. So I, I found a better way of doing it instead of that. And it just made everything run smoother. And it made all of the delay chips work again. So that was good. Once Hanami was finished, I finished up the circuits for Choso and Jogo and I was done. Did I say I was done with the room? Well, I was lying because when I went over to go test it, nothing was working. And remember, remember how I said that one delay chip bug or whatever that was glitching on my room was the most difficult thing to fix in the room? I lied. My solution to that was causing even more problems and even more annoyances that I had to redesign everything. And then after that, I realized the way I designed Hanami's ability would lag out the entire room. So I had to redesign Hanami and this entire thing was just backtracking. I, I was absolutely tweaking for these two hours. Well, I'm done now. I can show you guys the things. That, I'm done. So I can present to you all of the abilities. Here we go. Thanks for sticking to the end, this game took months to finish. If you guys can think of any characters, additions, or bug fixes I can add to the game, you can comment those under the video or under the room in the game. What you see on the video on the screen is me printing a shirt. Now this shirt ended up taking like 6 hours to print, so I wasn't able to show the full thing, but you can see and buy it if you enter the game I made. I'll put the game back up on screen, and hope you guys enjoy.